Before you bombard my comments with, you can't hack a bank, that's illegal. Let me preference this by saying that it's all within a game. You see, I had challenged myself to try and take on one of the biggest challenges you can do in Uplink, a Hollywood-style hacking game. That challenge was to hack a bank. It's not an easy task. Even forum posts made by people with much more skill than me were saying how it can straight up end your run if you make a simple mistake. Oh yeah, did I mention that if you get caught in the game, you cannot use your profile anymore? It's quite a brutal system in my opinion, but I was up for the challenge. I was running low on credits and decided that doing a bank heist was my best option. Let's see how well that went. This was also streamed over on Twitch, so if you like what you see, feel free to stop by sometime. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. I like the financial details of an associate. Or, where, which one is it? It's, uh, trace a recent balance transfer. These ones. Because, like, they'll be like, oh, a large amount of data. And you can get, uh, credits that way. So, we will trace this one. Because I am interested in stealing the money in this one. So now we have to get Wout's, uh, voice, I think, is the admin here. Nope, it's Pierre. Never mind. There we go. Voice should automatically start going. We will then save that. Now we go back to the bank. So we go to administration. Password break. I'm going to turn on the proxy, just so I know I have it. The cipher. Voice. Access granted. View all accounts. We are looking for the account of 647. Yasan Freiberg. I... Fuck. I fucked up. Five minutes later. Boom. View access logs. Disconnect. So now we've got this guy. What we have to do is go to the bank again. But we don't have to get access to the admin credentials anymore, right? What we do is we manage an existing account and we go for 6471161 Rayberg. And we can view the statements and we can see he transferred a large amount to the IP address of 150.35.166.1. already know which bank this is, but. Uh, with a account number of 3127988. We check this guy's money. How much money does this guy have? This man's also poor. Why is this man always poor? So now we have to go to 15035, which is this one right here. The Online Networks National Bank. So we're going to go to administration. Oh, no, we are not. Not yet. Not yet. We need their voice. And this one is wow. We will simply save it. And then go back to online network. Bam. View all accounts. And we're looking for 312. This one. Uh, now we need the proxy. Bam. Hop back up to online. Uh, manage an existing account. Three, one, two, seven, nine, eight, eight, with a password of flocking. And this man do be rich. And I don't want to result in a game over. However, that is a decent amount of, that is a lot of money. I want to see if I can take it. Let us try it. Let us try it. I'm going to steal this man's money now. This should be very interesting. I could very well game over here. If I game over, I'm probably going to call the stream quits. Because I'm not going to start fresh. I'm sorry. Done. Create a new account. Your new account has been created. Woo! Oh, wait. View account. It has the account number 3335544. And this man has 1,200... 3164 credits. We transfer the money. So now what should happen is I will. Done. Log out. I'm going to connect back. Make sure logs are good. My rating's now professional. 
Did I successfully do a bank hack? Yes, Punching Life. You successfully did a bank hack. Except the job isn't complete. As seen on screen now, I decided to spend my new wealth, which was way more than I thought. It wasn't 100k credits. It was 1 million credits, which is enough for every endgame upgrade and then some. However, I left that money sitting in that bank, which was now under investigation due to the hack. I have to move that money from that account into my uplink secured one. That way I can't be tracked in the future. You can probably tell how this goes. Uh, now I'm kind of wondering if I should like transfer, like transfer it to my own account. My, my uh, uplink corporation account, right? So if I go over here, if I transfer money to this account. Oh god, yeah, we whew. Oh fuck. I don't think they can like probe this one, right? I don't think so. By the way, I didn't realize that I thought that account on literally only had like a hundred K. No, that account had over a million. I kinda wanna start the story now, because I haven't run into the story at all. After ARC asks you to destroy Arnold's system. We can kind of do that now, too. I, I feel a little comfortable doing that. So if I disconnect from here. I might not have said it, but I read that fast forwarding would allow you to confirm or deny if you got caught or not. And I had the instinct to check. The moment I saw the black screen, it was over. When I used the proxy that on that last transfer, transferring from my fake account to my real account, I don't think that was the, the bank heist. I think that was me just forgetting to delete logs, exactly like it said it would. I didn't think it produced logs, but I was wrong. I should have hacked back into the bank and deleted the logs regardless. That was my mistake. That was Uplink, everybody. And Uplink it was. Despite the game over, this was a very fun game. I only planned on streaming the game to get footage for an upcoming video project on it. I had no idea I would be making a game like this first. My next video is for sure going to be that video project, so make sure you stay tuned. For now, take care.